So, um, what do you call a nurse with dirt on her knees? What? Head nurse. So we're gonna do the hospital. Pretty good start, I would say. If I'm ever on life support, go ahead, unplug me. Then plug me back in again and see if that works. Ha ha ha! Okay. Alright, alright, let's check it out. Uh, father asks his son, Hey, hey son, what do you want what do you want for your birthday? And the son says, A girlfriend who's not totally crazy. And the father says, You should ask for something more realistic, like a dragon. Okay, next. <laughs> okay, so Mickey Mouse goes to a marriage therapist and okay. he says, Oh, right on the mic. Okay, so Mickey Mouse goes to a marriage counselor and he says, I'm having some trouble with my marriage with uh, Minnie. And the uh, analyst says, so well, what's the problem? And he tells him, and the analyst says, well, I don't, I don't think there's anything wrong with Minnie being a little silly. And he says to the analyst, I didn't say she was silly, I said she was fucking goofy. Oh! Alright, I only know one joke. What is the difference between a dirty old Greyhound station and a lobster who just got a boob job? What? Well, one is a crusty bus station, the other one is a busty crustacean. <laughs> Okay, folks, we just raised the bar, right? <laughs> Who's got a joke? Come on, come on up. Okay. <laughs> Sorry, I just had to bounce off some religious uh, questions off Joy. <laughs> no. <laughs> so, um, this Catholic priest and this rabbi were having these philosophical talks, as they often do, and they're sitting there talking, and um, the, the Catholic priest says to the rabbi, so, what's with you guys and ham, anyways? Like, why can't you, why can't you eat ham? And the rabbi basically explains, you know, according to the holy scriptures, if you touch the skin of a pig, you'll be unclean. It's Leviticus. Um, the priest, the, the rabbi says to the priest, what are you guys, what's with you guys in sex? Why can't you have sex with your wives? Like, or why can't you have wives? Why can't you ever have sex? And um, the priest just basically explains, you know, you can't have your attention diverted from God. You have to be holy and pious at all times. You have to think, like, above the neck. And the rabbi just says... And the priest is like, well, you know, I think you should try... I think you should try eating ham sometime. It's, it's pretty good. And the rabbi was like, yeah. <laughs> you should probably try sex sometime. It's better than ham. <laughs> What do you call a deer with no eyes? No idea. What do you call a deer with no eyes and no legs? Still no idea. What do you call a cow with no legs? Ground beef. Well, that was 
adding a new twist to an old favorite, huh? <laughs> Who's next? Anybody else? Yeah, yeah. Lyle? Oh, okay. <laughs> okay. Uh, Spin and Oli, you know, they they just got off work and uh, they decided to go uh, go out for a couple of brewskis there. And uh, so they head out to, to the bar and, uh, you know, they walk right in and they, uh, they they get their drinks and they sit down. When about 35 minutes later, you see there's this lady down the bar and, uh, oh, she's, uh, she's uh, eating, eating some chicken and uh, she starts to choke on her chicken wing. So uh, Spen, being the hero he is, uh, he runs over to, you know, over to this poor lady and he, uh, he gets on his knees and he starts licking her tuchus. And all of a sudden, uh, you know, she uh, she coughs the chicken up, and uh, uh, everyone everyone starts clapping and cheering, and uh, no one can believe it. Well, Oli he runs over to Sven, and he he uh, says, "Oh, Sven, how'd you do that?" And he says, "Oh, Oli, don't you know about the hind leg maneuver?" Wow, that was really amazing. <laughs> Does anyone else have a joke at the set? Okay, come on. Evening. Yeah, Rob. Yeah. So this guy starts working a morgue, right? And then he comes up and he goes, Sorry, love culture? Sorry. So this guy starts working a morgue, and he goes, um, boss, is there any chance I could get a job? He goes, sure, yeah, you can get a job, no worries. Come on in. So the first day on the job, he comes up and he goes, boss, I, I have something to show you. Boss goes, what do you mean there's something to show me? I only started here five minutes ago. He goes, what do you see, boss? There's a woman down there. He goes, there's a woman down there? What do you mean there's a woman down there? He goes, it's more, of course. Women and men everywhere. Now you don't understand, boss. You see, this one's got a prawn. She's got a prawn. He goes, yes, boss. Follow me, and I'll show you. Come on, this way. So he leads him on down the hall, and the guy follows him down the hall. He goes, what the fuck is going on? I've only just hired this guy, right? Walk in, walk in, in the morgue. There's this woman spread eagle. He goes, you see, boss? Look, right there, that's a prawn. He goes. That's not a prawn. That's a clitoris. Oh well, it tasted like a prawn. <laughs> Remember, that is also amazing. This is judged by the audience. <laughs> okay, folks. <laughs> and that actually probably was a true story. Um, if you have told a joke, Please come forward at this time and line up right here in front of the stage. Don't be shy. Come on up. Come on up. Mr. Prawn, we really need you up here. Uh, Lyle. Lyle. Uh, also, the busty crustacean, where are you? Come on up. I'm going to pass the mic down the line. The joke tellers are going to yell out their punchlines, and you, the peers, are going to be the applause meter to decide who goes home with this amazing prize. Okay? Here we go. <laughs> the hind leg maneuver. Oh, yeah. You should ask for something more realistic, like a dragon. <laughs> it's better than ham. <laughs> One's a crusty bus station, the other is a busty crust station. Oh!
ground beef. Head nurse. I didn't say she was silly, I said she was fucking goofy. Well, it tasted like a prawn. <laughs> unplug me, then plug me back in again, see if that works. Thanks, Mike. Thanks, Mike. Thanks, Mike. That was funnier. That was funnier than what you said earlier. You should say that. I think, folks, that the, the prize is obvious. We're going to the Busty Crustacean.